With South Korea's Japan and North Korea policies under increasing scrutiny, an important anniversary gave us the opportunity to reflect. Last Sunday marked 10 years since the death of late former President Kim Dae-jung. And looking at his sunshine policy towards the North and breakthrough with Japan, I'm Alex Jensen for North Korea Now. It was over 20 years ago when then-President Kim Dae-jung introduced a North Korea policy named after one of Aesop's fables, the North Wind and the Sun. And so, Sunshine Policy's softer attitude towards Pyongyang was aimed at preventing further harm from the North. It paved the way for the first ever inter-Korean summit and numerous landmark cooperation projects. Critics say Seoul gave too much warmth without enough in return and that those projects are now shuttered. But could the sunshine of those years yet bear fruit? It felt that way during Seoul and Pyongyang summits last year and this was reflected by current President Moon Jae-in ahead of Sunday's memorial ceremony at Seoul National Cemetery. Moon said Kim Dae-jung offered a new horizon for peace on the Korean peninsula, drawing a clear link between sunshine policy and his own pursuit of denuclearization and a peace economy. It's interesting that Moon has been stressing the potential role of a peace economy in overcoming the challenges posed by a cooling trade relationship with Japan. But we also recall that Kim Dae-jung, who won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2000, is also credited with reaching a landmark declaration in 1998 with Japanese Prime Minister Keizo Obuchi, who apologized for great damage and pain that Japan imposed on South Koreans through its 1910-45 colonization of the peninsula. According to President Moon this past weekend, the joint declaration was a pledge for the peoples of the two countries to share the lessons of history and open together the future of peace and prosperity. And the current South Korean leader is clearly appealing to Tokyo's past recognition of history, given the change in attitude under Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in recent years and a trade standoff that threatens to cause widespread economic damage. But Kim Dae-jung, or DJ, is held in high esteem on both sides of the political aisle because of the pragmatic wisdom that came with his ideals. Despite the imprisonment and exile he suffered during South Korea's march towards democratization, Kim famously forgave and pardoned former military leader Chan doo hwan and his successor No tae -woo. Kim is praised for living according to his conscience, even if he made mistakes, and making choices that still seem so hard today when it comes to North Korea and Japan. And after all that he suffered, being dubbed Korea's Mandela, Kim Dae-jung was ultimately someone who by his own words saw that life is beautiful and history will develop.